Welcome friends of the greasy shop rag. Today we're going to take a look at a Husqvarna 130BT backpack blower. Customer complaint is that it's a little low on power. Let's see what she's got. Okay, I don't know off the top of my head what maximum RPM is supposed to be on this blower, but I can tell you that it's more than 4,900 RPM. So let's dig into this a little deeper and find out what's restricting it. Now right away I think that the uh, spark arrestor screen might be plugged up a little bit. I could see a lot of carbon buildup around it. So let's pop that off of there and take a look. There's two screws that hold this deflector plate in place. There's the other one. And the plate just slides forward or to the rear of the machine toward me. Whatever. Like that. And there's our spark arrestor screen. Now it's not completely plugged up. It is partially plugged. Although, and there's a lot of carbon, there's a pretty good opening in the middle of it yet. So I'm thinking I need to investigate a little deeper into the exhaust port itself. Before we do that, we'll burn the carbon out of this screen so when we put it back together, everything's good to go. I just like to take a little micro torch and heat it up red hot. It burns the carbon off. And when it's all kind of gray and flaky, I just uh, take compressed air and blow it clean. Would you talk to that guy? Did you give me that phone number? Yeah. You seem like all right guy. Younger Soon. guy, older guy, what is he? Older guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, you're older or am I older? My older. I mean, he's not. I was gonna say, so he's not ancient. He's not old as fucking dirt. <laughs> <laughs> was she busted or did you get lucky? Skill. You got lucky. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's your problem right What's there. What's in there? That's but a bunch of carbon. Ooh. She can't breathe too good? No. Alright, so we found our problem. The exhaust port is plugged up with carbon. I wish I had taken a before picture of what the port looked like. But I can tell you that there was probably only about a quarter inch in diameter hole that was open yet. And the rest of the port was plugged with carbon. So there's a couple different ways to clean the carbon out of that port. And we're going to show you one method. I like to pump air in through the cylinder, through the spark plug hole, so that there's always air blowing out the exhaust port as I'm chipping away at the carbon. This helps ensure that no carbon makes it inside the cylinder. You know that carbon can get hung up in a transfer port or something and actually cause scoring. So we don't want to leave any carbon behind. The other thing we don't want to do is scrape away at this um, with something sharp and scratch the piston skirt. So you see I'm using a plastic pry bar and here I'm using a chopstick. You know the job would get done a lot faster if we just went in there with a grinder or something right? But I don't want to scratch anything. I don't want to remove any metal. I certainly don't want to scratch the piston skirt 
I don't mind scratching the exhaust port wall. I'm not worried about that. But I don't want to scratch the piston skirt. So you can see, you know, I've got it about three quarter clear. There's still some work to be done in there. And I probably edited out about five minutes of scratching around and digging around in here with the plastic pry bar and the chopstick. It takes time. You want to be careful. I don't want to be pushing stuff into the cylinder. And the air is helping to keep that from happening. But you can see now that I've worked on it for a while, except for that chunk on the roof of the exhaust port, I've got the actual opening clean. We'll go back in and finish up that that roof there. And then when I'm done with that, I'm just going in with a Q-tip and seeing if there's anything loose. You know, that is an exhaust port, but that exhaust will pulse and it can pull things back in. So if there's anything loose in there, we want to make sure to get rid of it. Once I'm done with the air and the removing of the carbon, I want to put my camera in here and just look in the cylinder. Make sure there's nothing hiding in there that I, that got away from me or that I couldn't see. And it's clean. There's no uh, rogue carbon laying around anywhere in there. So we'll get this thing put back together. Now the muffler itself, certainly if it had some kind of internal baffles, could be plugged up. Uh, the design of this muffler, I don't think it's going to be a problem. We'll get our spark arrestor screen and our deflector put back in place. Two screws hold that on. There we go. We'll get our cylinder cover back on. And our spark plug installed. So we're going to fire this thing up and see if we've made any improvements. Right. And that's going to be all I have for you on the decarboning method that I use on most two cycle equipment. Thanks for watching. Later.